and then underneath button one dot click or button one underscore click excuse me you're going to type in dim a as object and then hit enter and then type in a equals text box one dot text what this means is it's going to assign a it's basically going to make a equal text box one's text um, and also about these integers up here what this code here basically does is it assigns whatever variable, in this case i, an int. So basically i, when it's entered into the code, basically equals 1. It equals the value of 1. So i equals the value of 1. Okay, sorry. i equals the value of 1. I need to talk a little slower. So that's that. And same thing goes for int here. So dim a as object, a equals text box 1 dot text. Uh, and then hit enter again, and then type list box 1 dot items dot add and then beginning parentheses i dot two string and then plus and then um, beginning quotations period double space double space uh, in quote uh, yeah, in quotations and then plus a what this does is this uh, will add a new item to the list box and the items text will basically be um, like if you clicked if this is the first item you'll you'll add if this is the first item you'll add the text will be one, then dot, double space, and then whatever is in text box one's text. And then, if you this is your second one, it'd say two, and then period, double space, and then whatever A is. And then if this is your third, it'd be three dot whatever, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. So that's what this means. And this I dot two string. What does two string mean? For those of you who don't know, it's actually really important, and it's really uh, helpful to know what it is. Um, it'll help you. Uh, it'll help you solve a lot of errors if you know what two string means. Basically, a value cannot be displayed as text. Like if I were to tell you to write down one, and you thought like a computer, you'd be like one what? What one what? One what do you want me to write one of? However, if you were to if I were to say write down the number one, you would then know. Oh, I need to write the number one. So this is basically like telling it to write down the number, the character version, the number of i, not just i of something. So if that makes more sense, yeah, I hope that makes sense. So basically two string is like saying write down number one or write down number two. Or write down this value as a number. Alright, so that's what that means. So after you're done typing in listbox one dot items dot add, blah blah blah, hit enter again, and then type i equals i plus one. What this means is it'll add the it'll add one to i. So whatever i equals will then equal plus one. So it'll be like one and then two and then three and then four. If this were changed to two, it would be one and then three and then five and then nine and so forth. So make sure this is one. All right, and then hit enter again. Then type in text box one dot clear. What this will do is this will clear out the text in text box one, so it'll not have any text in it anymore. And then hit enter again. Then type in text box one dot focus. What this will do is basically, if you did not have this here, the text box would not be usable until you clicked it. What text box one dot focus does is it essentially clicks the text box for you, so that way you can immediately get back it, get back to using it. <coughs> and then after that, hit enter and type if list box one dot items dot count equals one, then and then hit enter. It'll automatically create for you this end if down here that I just selected. Um, so after you hit enter, go ahead and type in label one dot text equals then beginning per, beginning quotations one item and then end quotations. <coughs> and then hit, what this will basically do is this will change the uh, text in label one to one item. And then go ahead and hit enter again. Type in else. And then hit enter again. Type in label one dot text equals list box one dot items dot count dot two string plus uh, beginning quotations space items ending quotations. Well, this will do. Um, you'll also notice that this items here is plural. So basically, what this whole code here does is that if there's only one item in the list box, it'll display items as singular. But if there's more than one or less than one, in terms of like zero, then there will be, it'll be in plural form. 
which is important. So, yeah. So, what this here does is, uh, what all this crap here does is it changes it to, uh, listbox1.items.count.toString. Um, same thing as up here with the i.toString. Since listbox1.items.count, the, um, the number of items in here is a value. And again, if I were to tell you, write down how many items are in listbox1 on a piece of paper, and again, you thought like a computer, you would be like, what? I don't know how to do that. But if you say, write down the number of items in listbox1, uh, you'd be like, oh, so I need to write down it in a number form. That's what toString is doing. So just think of it like that. I hope that made sense too, if it didn't sound, if it sounded stupid, I'm sorry. And then after that, end if will have auto automatically been created when you typed in if that then. So that's that. So let me go ahead and show you in action what this does. So let's go ahead and type something in this list box, such as P -Z -Z -S -E -N. And Then when we click on add, you'll notice what it does. First it add, it um, it does all, oops, it does all what I like to call the dimming. Um, and then after that, it uh, it'll add whatever was in here to the uh, up here. So it added the text up here to here, and it also gave it a one, indicating that it's the first item. And then it gave it a period and double spaced. <coughs> and you'll also notice if you haven't looked down here, uh, the label says one item. If we add another item, like pizza, hit add. It now says two items. Alright, we can actually keep, keep keep clicking add and it'll add blank items. And as you can see it's const the label here, look at the label, is constantly updating. And you'll also notice that it was that the uh integer here was constantly counting up. Now, what if you do not want the user to be able to add r blank um blank items? That might make your program look a little bit underdone. So, let me show you how to fix that. So, uh, in order to prevent that from happening, um, it, might, uh, it might not, but if they, if that is in your program, you're able to just, you know, click add and just add a bunch of numbers. People who use your program or critics of yours might actually think that it's a bit underdone. I don't know if that's the case, but it could be the case. So... Uh, and plus, the uh, included applications on Windows do not do that. Th so what you're going to want to do is just click on the Add button, go over to its properties, and you're going to make you're going to go down until you see Enabled. And you're going to set that to False. What this will do? Let me show you what this looks like. When you debug, you will notice that Add is not clickable. Nothing happens. Let me bring it over here. Nothing happens when I click add because it's disabled. Now what you're going to do is double click on text box one, double click it, and type the following. Alright. So type if text box one dot text equals double quotations, then what this double quotations here means is it basically if text box one dot text is blank, there's nothing in there then and then it'll say then when you hit yeah so basically that's what that means this is what this means nothing if I were to type B in here then what this would do is if it equaled B like if here let me show you so if I type in a B nothing it's still not clickable but if I were to type something rather than a B like an H it's not clickable we'll get into a, that's just how I like to explain it so but if it equals nothing, so basically, if textbox one dot text, if textbox one is blank, then, then, so type in if textbox one dot text equals double quotations, then, then hit enter, and then type button one dot enabled equals false. Um, what this basically means is you will not be able to click it. Then hit else. What else means is it basically means if that is not the case. So if textbox one dot text equals anything other than absolutely nothing, then after you type in else hit enter again and then type in button one dot enabled equals true. What this means is that you'll be able to click button one. Allow me to show you. 
So button, so button 1 right now is not clickable because there's nothing in text box 1. If we were to put something in text box 1, such as an L, now text uh, button 1 is clickable. And you saw how I deleted it, it went to non clickable. So I'm just going to type in some stuff when I hit add. It'll actually automatically clear it because that was what we made button 1 do. So now button 1 is no longer clickable again, so you can't keep adding rapid fire stuff. That makes no sense at all. <coughs> so that is that.